Here we have the Copeland Scroll Compressor Training Kit. And so this is the top cap where basically all the discharge gas gathers. And here's a little a baffle plate. And so this is where your discharge gas would be exiting the compressor at. And so that would be in this area where it's coming through. That's the discharge gas. And so over here you have an internal pressure relief valve. And then you also have a, a thermo disc here. So this is to uh, relieve the excessive pressure if there was to build up in this area and it'll put it back down into the lower pressure area. And also this right here, if there's hot, too hot of a discharge gas, it'll then allow that to flow through as well. So this is the muffler plate right here. And so here you can see those two items over on the other side. And so uh, this muffler plate lines right up with this right here, which is the floating seal. And so this floating seal is the same as this. There's just a little bit of a uh, gasketing material right here on the edge. And what happens is inside the scroll assembly, which is right here, you're gonna have a, a little hole. And so I don't know if you can make this out, but there's a tiny, tiny little hole right here. And so when the compressor is electrically turned off, you no longer have high pressure in the middle of the scroll set, pushing the floating seal upwards against the muffler plate. And so this floating seal can then get pushed downwards because it can move, because there's an equalization of pressure between the muffler plate and the discharge of the scroll set. Now that's not talking about an equalization across the whole compressor, that's only in the discharge of the scroll plate to the muffler assembly. And so the next time that the compressor is electrically turned on, it's not loaded, it's unloaded because this floating seal is kind of shifted downwards. It's gonna wait till there's high pressure coming out of this tiny little pinhole from the scroll set to push this floating seal upwards in order to seal off that whole discharge assembly up against the muffler plate. I wanna point out that this is the inlet for the compressor so you have a low pressure vapor entering into the, the scroll set, which is right in here. And so we'll remove these three bolts for you. And you can see the inside of the scroll set and this fixed scroll. And so the high pressure gas goes right up in here. And so this is the orbiting scroll that is moving constantly. And you have this assembly right here that's going to be holding this in place as it rotates. So this right here is the old hem coupling. And so that right there is meant to hold right here and here as this is, is rotating. And so the object is as this is rotating, it's closing off the the inner section right here and increasing the pressure between this scroll set, which is the orbiting scroll, and this fixed scroll. Here you have an unloader bushing and so this goes between here and here. And remember, you don't have any other seals in here other than just oil. So really like your oil is the bearing in a compressor and so if you have acidic oil or you have, um, which is going to end up copper plating the metal because the metal is real hot. So acidic oil will be a problem. And also if you have cupric oxide, which is that black soot uh, circulating through the system because you didn't braze with flowing nitrogen, then it's not going to be able to lubricate as well. Uh, but right here, you can see it has a little edge on it. And so that lines up right here. In order to hold this in place, obviously, you're gonna have your coupling there. And so this right here is your main bearing housing. And so this is kind of pressed in place up against your compressor shell. And once again, the lubrication will be from your oil, which is actually pulled up inside uh, this right here and comes out through this hole. So this whole assembly is considered the crankshaft and rotor assembly. So this is the crankshaft, this is the rotor assembly. And so right here, you have a counterweight. So you have a counterweight here and you also have another counterweight at the bottom. And then you also have this little cover right here. And this cover basically stops this little counterweight from agitating any compressor oil that's accumulated down here in the bottom. And so that's just to shield it uh, from that. So we said that this is the rotor right here. So this rotates, right? And so it's not included in this kit, but here is the stator as well. And so this stator would be used on say a single speed compressor like this. Now this whole lower section is the base plate and right here is the lower bearing. Remember, once again, it's just metal in metal, right? With a very small amount of clearance for the oil. And so the oil acts as the bearing. You also have rubber grommets in these four locations. 
and that's where it gets bolted into the unit at. So I hope this video on single stage compressors has helped, and if you want to learn more about compressors, make sure to head over to copeland.com.